Hello everybody, my name is Miss Vanessa and I'd like to welcome you guys to another episode of Tinker With Me where I take apart an old piece of technology and show you how it works. So today I have something kind of exciting, something that's almost like a fossil. Um, it is a VHS tape. So if you don't know what a VHS tape is, it is basically the equivalent to what a DVD is or a, a Blu-ray. Uh, and so a VHS stores video and audio inside of a film. So if we look closely, we can see that inside of our VHS, there are these two windows and there's film right here. And what this film is, it's made up of four layers. So there is a top coat, there is a magnetic oxide, there is a polyester, and then there is an anti-static carbon. And in this layer right here, the second layer, that is where all the information is stored. And it is a magnetic oxide, so it's magnetic. And it used to work when you would put this inside of a VHS player or a video home system. Uh, it would uh, send out electromagnetic waves and it would work with this film in order to create images and uh, create sound. And so today I wanted to open this up so that we could take a look at what the film looks like uh, and what else is inside of this. So let's take a look and see. Okay, so here we have our VHS tape. And if we take a closer look, we can see the two windows that I was talking about and the film inside of there. And so I am going to take out the screws so it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five screws that we have to take out and then we'll be able to see what this looks like inside. There we have those five screws and let's take a look and see what is inside of here. Okay, so this is the case and this is what the other side looks like. So it looks like there is two little things here to hold this in place. Uh, and then there's this thing here that would actually, when you would put it into a VH, VHS player, it would actually lift up and it would be able to read the film underneath. And here is the inside. So we have our two drums here, one, two, and then there we have the film that we can see. So let's take out one of these. And this is the film that I was talking about. So this is the thing that I was saying has four layers. So there are four layers in this super, super thin uh, piece of film. And so what would happen is you would start to play the movie and it would start to it would start to spin this little wheel uh, and from up here at the top it would be able to read this using those electromagnetic frequencies. And so here we have the other one. And so this is how it would work. And so these two wheels would spin and the film would roll. And right here in the middle, it would be reading whatever was going on in the film right here. And so like some, some old films used to have uh, the actual, like every single picture on the film 
but this is not something that you would be able to put up to the light and be able to see what's inside because all it is is basically uh, electromagnetic frequencies that it's reading from there. And that's about it. This is the outside case. Um, not sure what this is. I think it was right here. Uh, and here's the two things from our uh, two wheels of film. And that is what the inside of a BHS looks like. And so now we know that inside of this film is Sesame Street Kids Learn to Share. And there we go. So I think the coolest part of a VHS tape is the fact that there's so little going on inside of a VHS tape. But the technology that we had at that time was so complex uh, that it was able to create video and audio out of this teeny tiny thin film. And so I hope you guys learned a little bit about what a VHS used to do. Uh, and I had a lot of fun explaining it and kind of taking a look inside and seeing how uh, one of these VHS tapes was constructed. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.